It's been two years since the Parkland shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, but the incident has not been forgotten. This time two years ago, a 19-year-old walked into Mar Marjorie Stoneman Douglas and opened fire, killing 17 students and faculty members. Nicholas Cruz faces numerous charges related to the shooting, but a judge delayed his December trial to the summer. Since the shooting, students remember their classmates and, and found ways to cope with their losses. And Kyle Fansler joins us from the newsroom with that story. Hundreds of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas graduates are now at the University of Florida. Two years after the shooting, those close to the event are still reeling from the tragedy that saw 17 killed. I woke up to like dozens of texts like, I'm so sorry, Carmen died, and then I just cried. <laughs> For most, February 14th is a day of love and celebration. For graduates of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas and other schools near Parkland, it signifies the date 17 students and faculty were killed. Anisha Sarapali was at school when it happened, and she lost one of her best friends. If she survived, like, I would have, she would have been my roommate. Like, that's like small things like that. Just like remind me of her. On this two year anniversary, people honored the victims by painting stones at the University of Florida. March for Our Lives Gainesville President Allison Moriarty says stones do not fade away, just like the memories of the victims. Flowers are pretty and everything, but they do eventually die, so rocks are a symbol of, you know, constant life. While this evening's candlelight vigil will be more somber, painting stones is a social form of reflection and release. Since everyone mourns differently, this one is a way for people to mourn with, you know, friends in a social environment. March for Our Lives is focused on bringing an end to gun violence in America. It's set at a table for people to register to vote ahead of the 2020 election season. For Sara Pauly, the 14th of February will always be a day she sets aside to preserve the memory of the victims at Stoneman Douglas. Today is like no politics at all. It's just to honor them. Moriarty is working to get a memorial garden spot on the UF campus where she can place the stones. Reporting live from the UF newsroom, Kyle Fansler, WUFT News.